so much for three months in advance. That is so cool. And thank you so much for the five months. Also, we're back from ads. This recording is in partnership with the EA Creator Network. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Um, I appreciate you. Ads do support me directly, so thanks for chilling. I really appreciate that. So somebody suggested getting like a lime colored thing. I almost said flavored, but that's cool too. This is kind of like a yellowy color. But it's almost like a yellowy green, almost like a safety yellow green color. Not mad at it. Aw. My husband and I have a mother mentally before. No, I get it. It's difficult because my girlfriends are getting pregnant if you left behind. I get that. I totally understand the feeling of being left behind, you know? And like, I'm really glad that you are opting to take care of yourself because I think that's the best thing that you can do before, like is heal whatever pieces that you need to heal before you um, can feel ready for like a baby and stuff. And I think that's a very responsible thing. And like, I hope that you, uh, I, I know that like, I always feel kind of left out or like left behind or something too, because like all of our friends are having kids. Um, but your story and your book is unique to you and you only, if that makes sense. So like you, there's no like timelines. And like, there's things that are unique to you that you have to heal from and whatever you're coping with and dealing with and all that kind of stuff um, that aren't in someone else's book. You know what I mean? Um, and that's kind of something that I've had to sort of come to terms with in myself as well. It's like, am I broken that I didn't feel... I? Oh, no, right, <laughs> Jody. <laughs> it's too late to say... <laughs> You know, I feel like a lot of people aren't actually ready. It might be a little too late. <laughs> Ooh, silly goose. You're going to do great, though. You and Max are going to kill it. You guys are going to be awesome. With your baby. Um, Your friend's kids can be the babysitters, right? No, for sure. I'm going to give her... I think I'm thinking of her almost as like a little brain worm or like a brain brainy kind of person. Yeah, Sebastian has trained you well for a baby. He really has. Um, I like that idea. I'm honestly a huge fan. <laughs> <clears throat> First and last. All right. That's exciting, though. I'm really excited for you guys, Jody. My heart is just so full. I'm so stoked. You are going to be an awesome parent because you're very self-aware. Um, have a fun stream. Wish me luck. Oh my god, I don't know. I hope you do well. I just know it. I'm manifesting this for you. Woo! Okay, I'm why am I so nervous about this? Oh my god. Okay, I gotta go downstairs and I have to give her her bed now. I have to go assign this bed to Amelia. And then I'm just I just want the sim to get out of here too. There's these random people that are just hanging out. Turn three tomorrow. She's our first and last. Aw. Yeah. Like, we are very likely to only have one if one, like, if we even can kind of thing. It's kind of it. I know. Sending positive vibes all of your guys' this way. For real. I'm so proud of y'all. Oh, my gosh. What is she? Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Because I got rid of her, like, rancher trait thing. She was an oopsie, but the best oopsie. I love it. <laughs> she move in? Yes. So we decided to move her in just so we can like wrangle and make sure we have the baby when it's born. And then we're going to have her peace out, basically. But she's essentially just going to be like, I'm sick of your crap. Get and like, just get on out of there. I know going to slay that interview. Yes. Yes, you are. If anyone's new here, by the way, we are playing the Jelly Bean Legacy. Oh, right, Cassie. Yeah, no, good question, though. Um, but essentially, we're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy, and our heir, Ripley, got this sim randomly pregnant. And my brain has been just spinning. I don't even know. I'm going to make her tired so she goes to sleep. Okay, honey. Oh, I... Oh, no! <laughs> that was way too much. Oh, my God. Um, That was my bad. 
Um, I made her extra tired on accident. Hi, Erin. Good to see you. Happy to pop in. Happy Monday. So that was too much. <laughs> I just wanted her to sleep through the night so we could just have like the super speed. I know I did want her to sleep, apparently. Dude, can you get out of here? Can I get rid of her? Oh my God, not the mouse. Oh, another baby last night in Stardew. That's exciting, literally. MCC to make her leave. Oh, that's right. No, for sure. Okay, where is it? Isn't it under MC Cheats? Make Sim leave. There we go. Here we are. Thank you guys for that. Kind of like a little ghost leaving the laptop, isn't it? Why are these random Sims just like chilling out here? I'm so confused. Also, did he? Why are you? Where? Oh my God. Why are his needs all of a sudden tanked? That's weird. Uh, I made the decision to not have more than one. Uh, and I agreed it can take uh, the way she deserved, take care of the way she deserved and my parents uh, to adopt her. So much drama with it and the best for her. She's healthy, happy, thriving, so much confidence. Aw, that is really tough though, Stinker Bell. And you know, sometimes those, those tough decisions and like recognizing those things are such a, a thing of strength, I think, genuinely. I know, like, a ghost using that top, right? Um, but, and just having that awareness and, like, being willing to have, the, have those conversations is such, like, a noble thing. And, like, I really, and that is something that I know you didn't take lightly. So I really admire people who, who have that maturity and that fortitude to have those conversations. Ooh, wait, can I not have him, like, cook anything? I'm going to make him make oatmeal, though. But also. There we go. Now she's sleeping. Um, but thank you for the follow, by the way. My name's Zephyrin. My pronouns are she, her. We're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. And um, basically, we just found out that he got this Sim pregnant. And so we've got baby Lime on the way. So this is very exciting. Um, uh, we're kind of having like a big timeline convergence thing. It's crazy. Hi, Christy. I'm so glad to see you today. Welcome on in. How are you? Wait, why is she? Dude, who are these people? BB Tot, enable free build. Are there lot trades in here to like make random sims just like appear that's so weird i don't know what's going on i'm doing so good uh jelly bean legacy ripley is got the first person that he wooed with pregnant so that's exciting people don't um don't get and call us horrible from why i put her first so thank you you're gonna make me cry i get it and like you know what well i don't get it but like i because I've never been through that, if that makes sense. But everybody's situation looks can look so different from person to person um, and from family to family and or even kid to kid. But there's no people are, are very quick to judge sometimes without understanding the full complexities of of a very personal situation that you guys discussed. Hi, Lean. How are you? Welcome on in. <clears throat> but people are so no trespassing. Oh, key. Thank you. I'm like, what is this? Yes, it used risky woohoo. I think I have it for like 10 to 15 percent or something like that for teens. And then I think like 10 percent for adults, if I remember properly. Now I'm curious, like, how high is it? Let me actually go look. <laughs> now I'm afraid. Oh, my God. What if it's, like, so high? No wonder why. Why was it that high? 
Okay. Um, whoops. Okay. 15% I feel like is good for young adult. And then adult is 15. Elder I had as like five or something. <clears throat> I know exactly. People can be so quick to judge exactly. What was it? It was 50%. What was I doing? I do not remember having to change or changing it to that high. I think I might have been doing something in a different save or something with that because I didn't, I certainly didn't set it to this high for this one. No, it's not because like it was actually young adult. So we had 15% for for him. So this baby definitely wanted to exist. For sure. Neurodivergence is super spicy some days, so it was really for the best. I get that. I can. It's a very, very um personal decision. You know, and one of the things, stop it. Literally, what the frick? So one of you guys had said something about no trespassing, right? Disallow friends. Um, disallow solicitors, so disallow friends. Uh, so I don't like that one. I like the friends, so maybe disallow neighbors. No solicitors. Friends and vampires are okay. We could chill with them, I think. <clears throat> That's insane, like, with how many of these sims are just chilling out here. I'm going to force him to leave. Is it sim commands? Maintain sim? No, it was, uh... MC cheats. Make sim leave. Because these people just like keep waking us up. Um, some people show up at my Sims house almost a glitch, it's way more than normal, right? I wasn't sure if it was because this is like a university house or something, though, you know? Kind of thing. So I have no idea. That's so crazy. Not Liam just down here eating pasta primavera. What a guy. Okay, I think there's also some other Sims, but one thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lock this. Because this is Charity's thing. So I'm going to lock this computer. Everyone but Charity. And then this one's... Everyone but Chelsea. And then this is Ashley over here. So this one's going to be lock for everyone but Ashley. Excuse you? Dude, I just asked this person to leave. Didn't I just ask that sim to leave? They're everywhere. They're like vermin at this point, you guys. MC cheats, make sim leave. There you go. Um, What is going on with this? This is insane. Okay, let me see if they can actually like leave the house though. I think they should be able to. All right, so we're good. They're like vermin, vermin, I swear. Okay. Um, I'm cool with like just random people hanging out, but like there's like six or seven different people that are just chilling. Aw, he's sad about Marmy too. That's really sad because he also knew Marmalade because he, because freaking Liam also hung out in our house all the time. Oh my God. I always just start deleting people. I'm about to. Like, if they seriously don't. Right, Ace? Exactly. Like, if they don't stop acting up, I'm going to make sure that they just don't exist anymore. Liam's over here. I'll have him go here and just go sleep for a little bit longer. Marmalade? Marmalade died. That's really sad, Vic. He died. We got, like, a random phone call last time we played, and we realized that Marmy died. It was really sad. I know, I felt so terrible. Right, Tony, just unalive them all? Seriously! Goodbye.
Like... What? This is so weird. I'm really confused. Is this a glitch, you guys? Or is this because I'm on university housing? Does anyone... Uh, the naps in play? That's a good idea, Tony. Oops. Um... So... Um, it's just like a regular, like, lot, I think. What are the lot traits? There's no traits. They're like stray cats. Who fed them? <laughs> they just keep showing up. University housing is what it is. The uni dorm. So maybe it's because it's university housing. Should I change it to residential? Would that mess things up? Or should I just change it to residential? Seriously, never ending welcome wagon. I know. And there's like endless fruitcake. It's just a nightmare. It's a nightmare bow. Should I go? Should I change it to residential? Would that mess anything up? Because I can't handle this. I think it's probably because the game thinks it's like a dorm or something. Like, I cannot handle that. There's too many random people. A mod to choose university roommates. There is. There is. Um, I'm just going to change that to like the regular thing that was so weird because we can just live here for university so i think it should be just fine you can add a cooker yeah right no 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 for sure <gasps> we can add a stove i'm gonna do it uh did that once and it didn't send them to school okay um i hope it doesn't we'll see i guess whoopsie Okay, I'm not going to give them the worst stove, but I am going to give them a stove now. It'll mess with university. Um, I think they should be okay, though, because you can live anywhere, hopefully. We'll see. I think you can live anywhere, though. Uh, pregnancy would get kicked out in our second trimester, I think. Oh, no. Okay, that makes sense, too. Right, if it does, don't save. Yep. Okay. Hopefully we should be fine. I'm going to make this into like a shower tub combo. So we have two showers. So people aren't just like bathing all the time. So I think that's a good idea. Actually, we're also going to have like a big party today. I'm excited for that. Here we are. Yes. So hopefully, hopefully we should be all right. Hi, nerd. Welcome. How you doing, dear? Good to see you. We are, um, oh my God, Ripley's significant other is pregnant i don't know how to feel about this i'm a little bit scared so lime generation is like on the way apparently because we we loaded into the lot and then we noticed that what's her name was pregnant amelia so little baby lime is on the way um i changed my university housing to rental so i was able to sh choose shared locations and have a stove nice no that's awesome because i know you can attend university from like regular houses like i mean if you're gonna clean like i'm okay with that don't want to go to work oh i just want to save her the drama oh i'm sorry are you having a good day at least oh shoot they're like rats you guys they keep showing up that didn't even solve my problem Well, it's Saturday in game Haruko, so they won't have class till Monday. Oh my god, ads are playing right now, guys. Oh! Roll that beautiful bean footage. Uh! Delete Sims and MC Command Center? I think so. I could technically lock the front door, but I also disallowed neighbors and solicitors and stuff. They're everywhere. They're seriously everywhere. Lock the door for every new household. Right. I think so. Relaxing a weekend. Awesome. I did a bunch of yard work. I got my cycle and it was like immediately felt better. It was crazy.
Um, they want to hang because Ripley is so cool. Right, exactly. Ripley is just way cool. He has, like, all of the, the deets and stuff. Reload a lot or game. Wait, reload a lot or game, right? I don't know. Oh, yeah, anyway. um, I, I did, like, a bunch of gardening over the weekend. Sorry, guys, I got kind of sidetracked for a sec. But I edged our whole sidewalk, and it looks so much better. And then I also pruned a bunch of my plants and trimmed them back because the uh, this is growth from last year it didn't turn brown at all it just kind of got a little bit crusty and darker but that's it but they're very happy where they are so i just cut them back around the bottom but i know now in the fall to cut these back to like little chunks and stuff uh, i want to change the university a lot for after the term started and the game added new roommates to double the number of beds i'm wondering if this is the same issue Oh, uh, universally after the term started in the game, added new roommates to double the number of beds. Huh. I don't know. Save as. So I actually already saved after it, after I changed it. And bags to prepare new mulch, right? I just put like ours in a yard lawn and leaf bag, but like I definitely will be mulching things after I get my garden beds, hopefully later this year or next year your garden on discord that's exciting oh my god you little goaties you got your little lawnmowers going look at them go look at the lawnmowers they're so nice i love it one second i want to reply to something really fast One second. Give me one sec. I will in just a second, lawyer, for sure. All right, and we're back. Okay, so yeah, so a recap of this save, absolutely. So we actually have a previously thing. Um, I do need to update that command because there's a lot that's already happened already. But essentially there's like a whole document that you can read, but in yellow, I'm gonna read the kind of abbreviated versions, but if you want the full T, it's really good. Um, so basically it started with generation one. Poppy, Poppy was a deadbeat mom and a toxic self-centered influencer that uses her kids to reach global stardom. She will do anything to stay relevant, and even if it puts her kid, kids in harm's way. Um, then there was Apple. I haven't yet. I will have to stream, though, Jody. Thank you for asking, though. Um, then the second generation, Ambrosia wants to be the mom that Poppy never was, but overdoes it and stifles her kids' personalities to conform to her image of perfection. She outlaws technology because of what Poppy did and cuts Poppy out of her life. Um, and then generation three, Clement struggles to conform to his mom's expectations, rebels in his teens, get, gets kicked out from pregnant Helena, lives a turbulent life with her, including cheating and toxicity. They moved into Poppy's place, unaware of her surveillance. Clement repairs the relationship with his mom. Poppy dies. Helena proposes to Clement for money, causing more drama. Clement uh, gets rid of her when they discover Poppy leaves them no money. Um... <clears throat> Moves into Ambrosia's basement to have a fresh start with Lily and the new baby. Clement opens up to Lily and finally asks Lily to be his girlfriend because he's non-committal. And then we're on to Ripley. So basically, Ripley is a cringe YouTuber kind of vibe. Um, so essentially, uh, he was raised by his great-grandmother, Poppy pink generation, the bubblegum generation, so he knows how to, like, be a YouTuber and do all the crazy things for that. Um, I 
in one second here, but Um, <clears throat> single for seven years, but I do the math again. It's really nine years. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you poor dear. Oh, poor Fifi. Wait, so sorry. I was answering some questions. All right, sorry, I was answering some questions for my Maddies really quick. Um, a stardew, you have your stardew husband now, right? Who needs men when you've got Sebastian and Stardoodles, am I right? Actually, I get it. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of like a brief summary of kind of where we're at right now. So Ripley is gonna be like one of those cringe YouTubers who like, dabs and is like really cringy super self-centered think of like mr beast but like worse that's you with Haley, right loxy you got your your little star doodles romance we really have come so far there's so many like ups and downs and left and rights it's actually insane so lawyer barbie one of the things that we do is we add dice rolling that are like implemented into the rules of the actual challenge that make things go like all over the place and it gives us like situational whiplash in the best way possible. I know her bed, right? I know it, it just goes to show just how little Ripley thinks of her, you know? And I think while he's her, his first baby mama, she's not going to, um, I'm gonna, I'm literally just gonna delete the sim. I'm going to just delete her. I can't stand these Sims just hanging out. Yeah, like Logan Paul meets Andrew Tate. That's exactly Mr. Beast meets Logan Paul meets Andrew Tate. But yeah, um, love it. Thank you for the follow, by the way. MC cheats. Maintain Sim, actually, isn't it? Sim commands. Maintain Sim. Delete Sim. I am so sick of these Sims just showing up. And I'm going to see if this makes this better. <clears throat> and all of a sudden he's a fight too right no logan no like why i know he's like a, a boxer or something now or like an mma fighter or something like that i know i've heard of mr beast and my nephews got super excited because they got mr beast bars in their easter baskets <laughs> i was like i don't know i kind of know who mr beast is but not really um, my hairstylist, oh, sorry, Lori Barbie, when I was in law school years ago and it stuck. That's so cute. I love that. That's nice. Oh my goodness. Well, one of our moderators, um, is working on his bar exam. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate you. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are ready for the drama. Things get pretty wild in here sometimes. Sometimes we just kind of have like a flow. And then sometimes crap will make you like on the edge of your seat with this challenge. Because when it happens, it happens. Mindless entertainment, right? I feel like he's not targeted at kids, but he has an audience that is, is largely consistent of kids, if that makes sense. Did, um, I feel like from the vibes that I've gotten, just like the way that he does his content. Also, is uh, C still here? 
by the way, <clears throat> your 12 year old loves him, right? My nephew is like eight. Ryan is so tough. I know he's been having a hard time. I love him so dearly. He's such a gem. I want to get rid of this guy. Get out of here. I think they're technically supposed to live here, but they just don't. MC cheats. Wait. There we are. Hopefully the game won't spawn more people that just come. So we'll figure this out as we go. <laughs> and praying that we won't have any more problems with people. Who are you? Oh, wait, that's Trey. Okay. I just got really defensive for a second. I didn't recognize Trey for like 0.25 seconds. I was like, what are you doing in my house? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Welcome, Iken. Um, I was deleting Sims and trying to figure out why there were random people just kind of showing up and stuff. And I think it was because we had university housing and I couldn't get rid of them. And then we did create a Sim. But that's about it. You haven't really missed a lot. So we have a new baby mama. Her name is uh, Amelia. And we're also gonna throw a house party today in game two. So that's gonna be exciting. Uh, he does look way different with facial hair. I kind of don't hate it, but I don't like it. He just randomly did it to himself too. People show up in my house, right? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like there are gonna be some keg stands involved. Absolutely. I think it's like necessary at this point, you know, a big old frat party. Okay, Ashley, I wonder if I could have her do her homework really quick. Because, like, I figured that I, I can't cheat their homework. I actually have to make them do, all do their homework. Fun fact, but I have everything sped up just so for, like, flow and stuff. Um, The household are all students, and my brain is, like, melting because of it. It's crazy. I hate it, but I think it'll be worth it, though. All of them. Ashley, I think you're trying to talk to Ashley. Oh, no, I get it. <laughs> Not like Ashley or whatever her name is. Like the, the weird spelling of her name. I don't know why I did it to myself, Holly. I was like, this is going to be great. And then let alone like one student is enough, let alone like seven. Like, what am I doing with my life right now? Ashley or whatever it is, right? <laughs> Some weird like alphabet soup name. Literally though, like for real. Um <clears throat> everyone's doing pretty well. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing right now is so it's like fall right now. Um I'm gonna put down some some things for these kids, for these folks. I wonder if I could like have it here and if Sims can like actually move through here because I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing, but I don't hate it. Can she even like go here? Um, Pineapple Jen just turned into a team. That's so crazy. Let the fun begin. Uh, slice of life where they change, change the hairstyles and stuff in the mirrors. I don't. Um, I added that mod my Sims are constantly ruining their outfits, right? Like, what is going on? Is that something that you can, like, turn off in the, as, like, a setting or something? I do wonder if you could do that. Okay, so Liam, why are you growing? F what is, what is that? Respectfully, why are they randomly growing facial hair, you guys? Liam, <laughs> what is that? The royalty report names. I'm so good at naming his videos. I think I might, Jen. Oh no, honey. He does not play very well with whatever the, the chops are. This is not for you. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the 23 months, Sulu. Almost two years. I'm so excited. Thank you for being here, dear. Welcome on back. Yeah, they're called like chops. They're like pork chops or something. I think I'm going to turn it off for him, too, because he looks 50. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> a 
of what? <laughs> How do I get it off? What? Thank you so much for the. <laughs> I know it. It looks. He looks a little different. Also, thank you so much, Rich. I'm a new follower, but I just want to say you're really positive, completely relatable vibe. Thank you so much, Rich. I really appreciate you, dear. I hope you're having a fantastic day. He looks different. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like he's different looking than what he used to look like. Like his eyes are different than what they were before. Do I have another screenshot of him? Guys, I think it changed. Yeah, no, he definitely looks different. And beards, yeah, I, I turned it off. Uh, thank you guys for that, though. I know he, he looks different. I want to go through some of our old screenshots, you guys, because I think we do have some older ones of Trey. Because we've been friends with Trey for, like, quite a while. So we're going to go through some old screenshots really fast because there's Trey in the background. He, I, I think he looks different. Not Helena. Oh my God, I just got flashbacks. Can I see his face, please? Because he was just in those other screenshots, but he wasn't like there. Okay, there he is there. Okay. His eyes are closed again. He's like blinking again. Okay. He does look different. Doesn't he? Does he not? Like, am I insane for thinking that? I feel like his eyes are a little bit different. Maybe I'm crazy, though. I don't really have, like, a very good close-up of him, though. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. What is that? Anyway, I remember that too now. I was like, wait, I forgot about it. It was actually pretty cute though. I know family friendly, like what? Um, just a little booby kiss and it's fine, Nick. I'm trying to look for a picture of Trey that where he isn't blinking because he's like either really far away or is blinking. Oh my God, these are such good screenshots, you guys. I know, right? No, that was so funny because that was, where Helena and his eyes are a little different, though, you guys. I feel like his eye shape is different, but his eyes just feel like off a little bit. <laughs> There's an eyeball. <laughs> no, these sims are so good. This is graduation day for him. Oh, yeah, that's where Ashley got so upset with us because he was trying to get with Charity. Can I just see like a normal picture of Trey? Because his eyes are like smiling or whatever. Yeah, right. You remember this? They're good screenshots, aren't they? This is like their graduation party. And this is where he made Ashley upset. 
And then Ashley was basically saying like, no, I don't want to be with you. But then she got like really jealous and then started like slapping us because this is Ripley's birthday too. And he was like, oh my God, this is great. <laughs> They're a bit closer than what they were. I feel like they were too. See, like the pictures that we have of Trey are of him just being like this. <laughs> With his frickin' binoculars. It was going like this the whole time. Yeah, Ripley is literally just so shredded. It's crazy. I'm just trying to confirm myself to see. That's all the pictures I have of him, you guys. <laughs> that's it. I don't have any, like, normal photos of Trey at all whatsoever. He's just... <laughs> and I don't have any more, so... He only he doesn't have eyes, only binoculars. Ah, oh, yeah, this is, that's why his eyes look so weird. It's because we're used to seeing them through binoculars. Yeah, they just don't look. The way you, like, expect them. I don't know how to put it. A little bit, Valencia, I was going to say. I mean, it, 420 was over the weekend. Um. I don't know, maybe I'll just leave him, but... Because I don't think that you can change the way that their eyes look, can you? Like the arrangement of his eyes? Or whatever? I don't know. In detail mode? Okay. So I'm in here, but I don't know how to, like, do it. Because you can, like, change the, the width of his eyes and stuff. Presets modifying it, maybe? Okay. Because I feel like something looks weird about him. But his eyes weren't, like, that round. They were, like, a little bit, like, wider. <clears throat> See, that looks like his eyes before on the white part because like I was but it's just like moving his eye spacing and stuff though no I feel like that's what he looked like before though but his eyes just like he's on the gallery I didn't make him though we did download him somewhere else oh like you actually click on the thing hi perp good to see you by the way I feel like it's that But I feel like it didn't really change a lot, though. Hi, Kalka. Welcome on in. He's very handsome, though. But I also feel like it made him feel a little more baby-faced. Something's off. I do have better pictures of Liam than I do of Trey. I know he like, he looks a little more like baby faced. And I don't know what it is. I do know I have like more and like better pictures of Liam. Because Liam is actually one of like Ripley's crushes. See, like he just doesn't look the same. There's something off about him. Maybe I'm just crazy. I think it's his eyes again. He did have, like, a bigger set of lips before, though. It's his eyes. They made the irises, like, so big. That's what it was, you guys. I bet you because, like, his irises were gigantic before. I bet you. Yeah, it's like his face got like shifted down and like his irises are gigantic. Um, I don't think anything happened to Ripley, though. So I think Ripley's good. Yeah, Ripley looks normal as far as that goes. And then she looks OK. I'm going to check everyone because something got weird. I know. Yeah, no, for sure. It actually it really feels that way. I was like, this is these are not these Sims. 
Okay, this is Charity. Oh, wait, she has braces. She's so cute. I miss the fact that we gave her braces. This is Chelsea. I know, I bet it was Michael. Yeah, something was off. Jana Sims says change their faces when they age up. They do a little bit, but not this way. I'm almost wondering if it was like something to do with the... Like the facial hair stuff that we had going on. Jesus, he's so ripped. It's actually insane how ripped he is. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to check his facial hair. Hi, Mallory. How you doing, dear? Good to see ya. All right. I think we've averted some whatever crisis or something. Um, yeah, it might have it might have happened that way because I think I aged them up and and create a sim. But I don't think I've never had that happen, though, you know, because like I aged them up, but then they didn't look like that either. So I just wonder <clears throat> anyway. But yeah. Yeah, I know it's almost scary how like gigantic he is because he's like so massive, his arms and like his chest and stuff. <clears throat> I'm doing so good. Thanks for asking. We have a baby mama here. Oh, <gasps> shoot. I got to get Ripley. Oh, no. Uh oh, I got to make him like live stream stuff randomly. You guys, I got to do it. I'm going to have him begin a stream. I know he's a tank, right? He is massive. Now it's going to be, I might buy him a second stream bot because I think this is going to be so much easier here. But I'm going to have him go eat some lobster for breakfast, apparently. Swolebot, I know. I was like, well, it's this one that he, he uses whenever he like works out because he live streams himself all the time. But I think you're having two stream bots so he can stream very often. We'll call it like his backup battery or something, you know? Ripley isn't ginger. No, he we said that he dyed his hair blonde. Um, I know he could play Captain America, couldn't he? I agree. A day in the life of the big ripper. A character in my story we're working on. I love it. That's good. Seriously, different experience, right? I know, right? Like, who's got a budget for lobster? <laughs> Certainly not me. Mm. So Ripley is kind of like, think Mr. Beast meets Mr. Beast, Beast meets, um, what are some other Sims, you guys? Mr. Beast meets, um, uh, Logan Paul meets Andrew Tate and that's Ripley and then all of the rest of them are like his little crony friends basically oh no yeah basically that's Rip Ripley Ripley is your Mr. B <laughs> wait what if what if that's his screen name online instead of Mr. Beast it's Mr. Beef what if that's his name instead um I think that I could really get down with that also I'm gonna I'm going to teleport her here because she's going to get stuck in this corner. I'm going to have to move that. Mr. Beef. I love that for her. I'm crying. <laughs> I think it's perfect. You know, name a better name, a better one. I'm also going to make her go sleep in like Ripley's bed because everyone keeps watching TV. This poor pregnant woman can't sleep. All right, I'm going to have the Ripster go ahead and go like do his workout this morning. I'm also going to buy him another stream bot, too. So can we get a name for another stream bot, you guys? So we have Swolebot 1.0. Yes, yeah, we're going to we're going to kick her out after the baby's born for sure. Like, absolutely. <clears throat> so we've got Beef Bot. Oh my God, Beef Bot. The fact that two of you guys said that at the same time, that's meant to be. Beef Bot it is. That's it. We got Swole Bot and we got Beef Bot. Wait. I need to have him go here and begin the stream. Oh no, he's an emotion bomb. Oh God, he's taking after Grandma Poppy so much, you guys. Backup bot, right? Bob, backup bot. I like that a lot. That's a good one. That's really good, actually. Have them clean some of this up. And then 
Ah, uh, so he's done all of his homework. Have you done all of your homework? No. So there's some things that she's got to do. And I really need to, to have her go like purchase a university homework thing. Because she lost her homework somewhere. I, I think she probably just set it down like on campus or something. There we go, honey. Let's go ahead and do that. And then you have done all of your homework. So charity is all good here. The weirdest thumbnail, Macy. Oh my God. I, so Twitch is so unhinged sometimes. It's so funny. I hope you're having a good day. Good to see you, dear. Oh yeah, I'm Discord and the memes and photos. Absolutely. That's a good one. I like that idea. Did he do his homework yet? He didn't, he did all but one. But like, where did you put your homework though, dude? I've been having problems keeping track of their homework because there's 80 of them. Um, which is valid, I think. Wait. Open. Here we go. There we are. Um, my hubby is 58 and big like that he's insane. He's healthy, no roads, roids. He's just naturally big through all her high school, college. I know some people are just big like that too. It's butt good. Oh my God, not butt spot doing it. Yeah, like sometimes, yeah, sometimes some people are just very, <clears throat> very naturally fit like that. It can happen, totally. Okay, so what are we going to do this morning? So we've got, I don't want him to like push the limits. But he's feeling like hopelessly sad today. So maybe I'll have him do something here, like just do some blick block dances or something cringy. 17, our son's the same. Oh, that's wild. Do what your son's kind of take up after him kind of thing. It's always fun to see when people. Oh, look at the NX ad break. <laughs> are you guys bullying me? What are you guys doing? Instead of candy, he says local beef sandwiches, Chicago style. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ooh, and his pickup line is gonna be like, "You want a beef? You want you want a dip? You want that beef wet?" <laughs> My boyfriend's dad is a Chicago native. Extra, oh girl, you want <laughs> extra soaked? Yes. Oh my god, humble. That's it. That is it. Yeah, my um, my freaking my my boyfriend's dad is a Chicago native, and whenever we go there, he's he's requested us to go stop by his childhood like restaurant, and ask him to get like a wet beef. <laughs> and the first time that I, that he asked, I was I didn't know what it meant, and I'm like. What's that mean? <laughs> As a Chicago native, I'm horrified and delighted, right? Yes, wet beef. No, it's delicious though. Trust, trust the wet beef. If you know, you know. <clears throat> you like Arby's? Cause I got the beef, exactly. That'd be another pickup one. Just immune to wet beef. <laughs> You like French tip? Cause I'll chip dip my beef in your ajou. <laughs> yeah, only Chicago knows. Thank you, Tawny, 45 months. I love you so much. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. I like how he's live streaming and just dabbing. This is so terrible. I'm gonna have him do blick. That's why he needs to max his dancing skill, guys. Cause he's just doing blick block dances all the time. He's so terrible. Mute for a phone call from my doctor and I came back to the mention of Arby's and now I'm craving. I'm hungry. <clears throat> oh no, a J and N instead of a J. Oh, anus juice. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh 
Right, Barbie, for real. My boyfriend's family, we live in Illinois, but my boyfriend's family introduced me to Chicago hot dogs and they're so good. Oh no, it's two dudes. No, 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 it's dudes. It's Trey and Liam. I feel like these, these, okay, these, I'm, I'm very LGBTQ friendly. I want to be abundantly clear right now, but I feel like these would be the types of guys that are like, it's not gay if you don't make eye contact. <laughs> Showers are banned from here on out. I'm very queer positive. I just want you to know that. But I feel like these are these are the kind of dudes. Just dudes doing two things. No homo, we have socks on in the shower. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to kiss the homies goodnight? Just two, two dudes sitting in a hot tub six feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Barbie, exactly. I'm actually crying right now. I mean, I'm here for this, though. What the frick is happening? He's all good. Are you good? Aw, yep. hold on. <laughs> Come here! No. Let me love you! They didn't. Okay. <clears throat> it's good. All right. Cooper's not a surgery. Anyway, sorry. Three thirty. Three thirty-four o'clock. Okay. Okay. Oh well, that, that's not okay. That's we'll got that it. One. Okay. All right. Um, he popped around the corner, and his. Um, he's a little, a little teary eyed. That's his baby. He was like crying this morning. Poor boy. Um, but yeah, Cooper, our dog had some cysts removed this morning and Michael was like, oh my God, so anxious today. I know. Well, <laughs> that's his buddy. Cooper's his boy. Bro sexual it is. No, for real though. I, I love the fact that we're just like. The, these, this challenge is literally writing itself. I don't know, Lean. I got it. A hundred percent. I get so emotional as well. <clears throat> Homosexual. <laughs> oh, no. This is exactly these guys. Because, the oh, Jesus. The thing is, is that Ripley has a crush on, on him. Oh, no. He's going, oh my God. This is really funny. He's going upstairs to go take a bath. Like he's got to go like wash this off. Oh my God. Do you think they would, they would probably, dude, they would probably try to keep this stuff a secret. It'd be easier um, to say who Ripley doesn't have a crush on. It would be, Lexi, you are so correct though, because who doesn't he have a crush on at this point? Oh my God, uh, I can't let Ripley smell Trey on me. Oh my God. So Trey is gonna go upstairs and go talk to somebody. Apparently he's gonna go talk to Ripley. I'm so interested. I'm just gonna see what happens here. Apparently, okay, apparently he's not gonna go talk to him anymore. I was just gonna let that go play out, but hey. Oh my God. What is even happening? There's like this weird love octagon. Honestly, it's like a, I don't know how many points this thing there is. Um, <clears throat> Rip, that's true. He doesn't have a crush on the girl he got pregnant. That is a very good point though. I know those showers are never gonna be the same ever again. Like not even a little bit. Guys, bruh, me and Liam had a thing. Just homies being homies, don't be weird about it. <laughs> He 
just got some meat cake. I swear to God, you guys, you guys are killing me. <laughs> I can't! Butt's butt! What is even going on right now? Oh my God, I'm putting that one in the, the dungeon. Butt spot coming in hot. I swear to God, there we are. <clears throat> um, I saw this. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> These people, you guys. Butt spot said, let me tell you what really happened, right? Ooh, is this butt spot here? I think this could be butt spot. I need to figure out. I think I'm just going to have him do like stupid blick block dances and stuff. I'm back because she hasn't had the baby yet. No. So here's the thing, though, Olivia. Frickin Trey and Liam just autonomously woohooed. That was it. They just did it. And... Uh, <laughs> in the shower and i literally i do not know what to say um i know you miss a lot it was crazy ace um we were just kind of minding our own business and ripley was just doing whatever he was doing and then i got like the first time woohoo like notification basically dancing level two so this is the blick block dances on live are literally the reason why he's going to have his stuff maxed out you guys that's it I know surprise pregnancy. There's two dudes, though. So, like, they can't. I have not done it yet, Kalka. I also forgot to do it on Friday, and I'm so sorry. I was so discombobulated last week. Oh, my God, you missed drama. So, we found out. Do you remember last time when Ripley was living in the dorms? Um, yeah, Ripley was living in the dorms, and he woohooed that random sim. Well... She's pregnant with Lime Generation. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, it's been very interesting. <gasps> we also need to... Yeah, so she is... Ripley is going to be a dad. I'm like literally freaking out about it. It's so crazy. But it's time for us to get ready for this partner. Not this partner. The party. Y'all. In Sims, seriously, in this Sims gate, like anything can freaking happen. It's getting very spicy in here. I'm gonna set up some things here. So like, should we do like a bar? Ooh, guys, we totally gotta have like a little makeshift bar thing. What's this one? It's got like freezer bunny things on it, but I kind of dig this one. Here we go. Partner on the brain because of the train lamp, literally. Oh, it took you way too long to do it. <laughs> I love that Leona. Did you did you see the the stuff? Did you see what went down between Trey and Liam? I can't even I can't. Like it's so crazy. Ooh, the disco ball. That's gonna be a good one, actually. That's perfect. Oh shoot. <clears throat> Ads played. I'm sorry, guys. I'm way too excited. I can't. Oh my god. I'm the right kind of distracted today because there's so much excitement going on between this, like, in this household already. Like, this challenge keeps us on our toes, let me tell you. Oh, you were laughing in this store. It just in, like, so much disbelief. I can't believe that this game keeps handing us this storyline. All showers in this household come with a warning advisory? Seriously, it's like a slip advisory. Or something. I'm trying to clip you say, it is shoes. <laughs> Out of context clips are something that you guys excel at. <laughs> oh no, but like Trey and Liam um autonomously woohooed in the shower. The the two guys did. And you know, we we're no you know we're very queer friendly here and everything like that. But we we also say that Trey and Liam would be the type of dudes to be like, it's not gay if we didn't make eye contact. <laughs> Discord. <laughs> I swear to God, Leona. <laughs> I swear to God. Gotta put that in the butt cord. Butt spot! 
a romance bar? I know. That's the thing. That's why I like no strings woohoo, especially for these generations, because I do have no strings woohoo on for the extra spice. Um, that's how we had uh, Amelia and Ripley make a baby together. And that's how Liam and Ripley or Liam and Trey decided to just. That's it. Yeah, they're wearing socks in the shower. Exactly. <laughs> no strings. Woohoo. It's MC Command Center that that comes with. So MC Command Center has like another little mod called MC Woohoo. Um, two guys. I know, seriously, Sierra. Really, though? So they couldn't have any more babies? I think my brain would melt out of my skull. And I'd probably be like, one of you has to move. <laughs> We're about to have, like, a little party. Oh, you're so very welcome. But yeah, it's MC Command Center, MC Woohoo. There's two, like, little components of that mod that you have to download. And then you should be able to get, like, the rest of them and stuff uh or you, you um i can lead you through the settings if you need help or like discord's always there too if you're in discord <sighs> the new kits i like them so there's a few items that i'm a little bit disappointed with which is like this one this is the the little lemonade thing it doesn't look like liquid it looks too thick and stuff i'm a little disappointed and then there's a there's a big jersey that has some weird stretching issues with plus size them specifically but um that's not uncommon in big in bigger items or like plus size items and stuff so that's not unique to that kit however those things aside i think they're really good i really quite like them i am i am sponsored by ea but they don't pay me to say they don't make me say anything i give you guys my honest to god opinions about them um, and this juice dispenser also isn't functional. Also, we're back from ads, too. This recording is in partnership with the EA Creator Network. Um, as per FTC law things, I do have to say that every time now. Um, but <clears throat> I still am have always will giving you guys my honest opinions and and takes on things. That is important to me. I know Buttspot is on it today. Um, but the butt is chaosing today. <laughs> butt spot is making all of these butt jokes and stuff. And I'm honestly kind of here for it. There's a lot of high pulp things in this specific gameplay. goodness great minds that you guys <laughs> thank you stash i appreciate it i had i had spoons to put on falsies today i'm excited i'm feeling a lot better finally a regular user for serious oh did you really? <laughs> holly i love it when people think that butt spot is like an actual person um oh my god so one of our mods chi one of my besties too, she thought that Buttspot was like a real person because I added Buttspot one day randomly because I thought it was funny. And then I, I usually tell our moderators when I do things like that, but I forgot to this day. Um, <clears throat> but um, I didn't that day because I forgot. And then Buttspot, uh, yeah, was like mocking people and she's like, oh my God, this person is being so mean. I'm like, oh, no, that's a bot. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was just protecting. She was doing so good. I felt like it was my Nagas being stupid, and I woke up to butt homies being homies. <laughs> that's full pulp, baby. Oh, my God. I hate it here so much. Um, I figured out when nobody was acknowledging it, you were responding to joy with it. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a random bot that you can like add to your stream or something. Someone, I don't know who made it, but someone made it, but it's good stuff. The little record player. Is there anything else that you guys can think? Oh, we need a keg because we're going to throw a party. Full pulp butts. Oh, no. Help. Help. Y'all. Okay, so we're going to do ooh, the pineapple lime. We got to do this one. Pineapple lime is really funny, actually. I do have a bar right here. 
<clears throat> but um pineapple lime is really funny because this is actually the pineapple generation and their their child has to be lime in case you guys missed that like that's fantastic i think it's good i also think that i'm gonna do a different version of this i'm gonna do something else I think I'm gonna do like a stereo and kind of just like smush it in the corner. Oh, like I know like pineapple limeade, isn't it? It's so good. So we're gonna have another party. I feel like this is gonna be one of those things where we don't clean up after ourselves after parties because yes, I feel like we're just gonna have them vibes, you know? I'm gonna put this here because there's it's easier for me to fit this against this wall. Oh, the neon on the wall. Ooh, that would be good from like the new pack or something. That'd be a good one. Oh, so let's go and I will filter party essentials. Yeah, like figuring out one of these. I feel like they're going to be most likely to have like th uh, this one, probably. So you can't size this one up or down. But I feel like that's good. And then I'm also going to rotate this. Ooh, I'm going to rotate this by like 10 degrees. That's going to be a good one. Or even like 20. A little off kilter. Yeah. I like it. That's a good one. Okay. Um, and then I am going to get rid of this light. But then this one, I can change to be like a different color. So maybe we'll go with like this one or like the green or something. Ooh, I kind of like the black light color. Oh, the crooked chairs in the corners, right? I know I would so cower in the corners too. Okay. So one thing we actually do need to do. Oh, it's Spooky Ween too. Oh my God. You guys, it's Spooky Ween too. That is so perfect. A Halloween party instead. I think that's a good one. Oh my God, that's so fun. It is, isn't it? So we're going to throw a costume party. Because they actually have like a spooky party. Oh yeah, we're going to do a spooky party. Oh, incognito costume party. No, I like that. Um, don't put the black light in the shower. No, for real. In any in any frat house. Oh my god. So Ripley is gonna be hosting frat party. So we're gonna invite Charity, Ashley, Liam, Chelsea, Trey. Janine's still a teenager, which is awkward because she didn't age up. Maybe I'll age her up when she gets here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's invite some people that he knows. Um, we're going to invite you, Bridget, Kala, Hayes, Jace, um, Alicia Charm, Kenzie Bjergsen. Ooh. We can have up to 15 people. Bets on who's going to end up at the shower at the party. Seriously, I wonder. Ooh, I need to invite Lainey and Amberly. We do have to invite those people. Yes. Okay, here we are. Um. Remember Chris? Oh, my God. Yummy, dummy boy. All right. We invited, like, a bunch of random people as well as, like, all of our friends. So we should be here. I don't think I'm going to hire a mixologist or a caterer. We're just going to have people drink or whatever. But we're so going to have it here. And then it's like 5 p.m. I think that we're going to have them started at like 7. I think that'll be good. At this house, darn it. So there we go. We got things going. Ridley, Ripley, right? <laughs> I love it. Here, I'm going to have them turn this on. As well as this. Ooh. <gasps> That's so fun, though. No. 
Oh, I do like how you can't see it. It's only when you mouse over. That's really nice, actually. I didn't see that before. Oh, here we go. What kind of music do you think they would listen to? Um. I feel like it's probably going to be pop or new wave. Okay, hip hop, electronica. Okay, let's do electronica. I think that would make sense. Helena's calling me. Grandma. Oh my God. The gaslighting continues. It's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. What the f <laughs> Deadbeat mom who literally cheated on my dad left and right and left us when we were an infant. Like not even an infant. We were still a baby when she left us. Oh my God. What if effort who is the effort in the room with us right now? I'm going to roll to see maybe he'll go visit her. Oh my God, what if I invite her over and she's just here for the party? Should I do that? I know she totally raised him. Oh my God. Uh, I'll visit you tomorrow. So I'm going to roll. I think I'm going to roll between the top one and the middle one. I kind of want it for the drama. I'll visit you tomorrow or why don't you come over right now? So best of three. So yellow is going to be I'll visit you tomorrow. Best of three. That's one towards yes. Maybe he'll lie because he was supposed to visit her before, but we forgot last time, y'all. OK, so he's going to lie and say I'll visit you tomorrow. We'll see. I'll visit you tomorrow. Even to you, um, I can't. It was nice talking to you, right? I know she is pretty forgettable, though. She was just a lie. OK, then I hope to see you, though. Oh, my God. I really visit when my Sims actually say they I visit tomorrow. Right. I don't think I think I've said it to her once before, but that was it. There hasn't really been anything else. Oh, my God. Shoot. I should have added some like spooky Halloween decor. Uh Oh. Oh, my God, you guys, we got to do it. I got to add it. OK. Decorations. Not party essentials, but like, where is it under spooky day? Because I forgot that this is actually like a Halloween party. So we'll decorate this area with Halloween stuff, I think, or maybe the front. Um, Content. Wait, packs. So we're going to have spooky stuff. And at least kind of start from there. Grape Jen going back to Blueberry Jen's house. Oh, that'd be so fun. Right, I could see that. We have some like new party kit, orange and black swatches. Oh, that's perfect. No, that's good to know though. And then I wonder if I should change this color to be like purple or like something creepy. Um, and then this one, this light is going to be like this weird purple color. And then maybe I'll make this one like green. In the hallway. Pumpkin's face creeps you out. I know, right? I love it so much. They're so cute. Those little plastic pumpkins, they remind me of the ones that we used to have like in the 90s when we were kids. Like way back in the day. Wait, where is it? Here we go. Where's the front? Here we are. I'll go ahead and add some crap onto the outside. And then here we are. So what if we did some little things on the walls in here? 
maybe I'll do this, like add that one. And then we could add like, maybe like a spider to the wall, maybe like one of these. And just get like a little thing of candy, probably. Because they don't have like a spooky day bar or anything, which would be really, really cute if they did. But they don't have any of those. Oh, they're so cute. I know I love the vibes, all right? Just kind of thrown together, but it, it kind of works, though, you know? Little pumpkin thing. Should I change this to be like a different color? Maybe like green or even like. I kind of do like the pinky purpley color. Oh, fog machine machine size down by the tombstones. Oh, that'd be cute. Because this is like a fog machine, right? And then. I could like hide it in the bushes. Or like stick them right there. The ghost in the keg. Oh my God, wait. Oh, the, uh, oh, it might be in the way. Okay. If we have problems using it. Oh yeah, I think you might be right, actually. Maybe I'll stick this sad little guy in the corner. Here we go. Yeah, I think you're right, though. It might have been in the way. All right, so... Spooky day party! Um, turn on this light. Oh. Okay, so we do have some like fog machines out here. Oh, that's so cool. It's like super foggy. Had a glass gift coming from FedEx today and I opened the box and it was shattered. Oh no, the ring doorbell and they threw it from the bottom of my steps on my porch. That really stinks though. I'm so sorry. That's such a bummer. I know that's such a cool idea, right? But I'm so sorry about that. The whole thing, though, that really sucks. I hope maybe you can like file a complaint to, um, to like FedEx and stuff on that. That really sucks. So decorate... Spooky spirit and wear costumes. Okay, Ripley, you literally need to like change into your costume, dude. Maybe I'll pause. I'm actually gonna cheat his like needs just a little bit. Don't look at me. Wear costume. What do you think he would wear? Llama corn, Boba Fett, cheerleader, Darth Maul, villain, space ranger, pizza delivery, mailman, maid. I feel like Ripley. Oh my God, what would he be? A maid? A maid? Okay, I'm gonna make him be a maid. Oh wait, no, that is that is not what I was thinking it would have been. Okay, let's change his outfit. Um. Also, hi Mari, how are you? Good to see ya. I know I wanted it so bad to be like femme. I was hoping it would be femme. Here you go. Now he's going to be a smuggler or something. Oh, cheerleader. Oh, wait, that one's a good one, actually. Hold on. Ah, uh, see, dang it. That's not at all what I was thinking. Okay. Wear costume. I know, right? Like, where's the skirt? Like, gosh darn it, what's it gonna be? So Liam's gonna be the Grim Reaper, because why not? I know they all I know they all have way too much clothing. I was hoping that they would definitely be a little more scantily clad. Just saying. They have far too much clothing for him. So let's go and say like, wear costume. Let's try it again. Grim Reaper, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, astronaut. I feel like he wouldn't wear anything nerdy because he would make fun of people that do that though. Ooh, what about a villain? I actually like that one. Um, I don't know. You might be able to. Does anybody actually know if you could do that? I'm going to double check because I want to add like the little robber mask or something to him. And just in case, I don't think that you can. 
Maybe it's a cheat code, but I think it's only for... No, you can't. It might only be for... Like, their actual career outfits. So for Ripley specifically, I'm going to make him a party outfit that has something that he can wear. Wearing hot pants? Oh, exactly. Um, let's get him a custom check. So make a party. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Just making like a party outfit. A thousand percent. Um, what would it be? Because would it be under like glasses? Oh, right? No, for the less clothes, the better for him. I don't think we have, like, a robber mask or anything like that for him, do we? Wait, what if he did, like, sexy cowboy? <laughs> I could see that. Oh, my God, right? Because you can have, like, a hat, and then he can have his boots and stuff, and that's going to be beautiful. Hot pants, right? Do they have chaps? Jorts? Oh my god, wait. He would so wear jorts, actually. No, he's wearing jorts. <laughs> Valencia! It's Ripley's Halloween costume! I'm laughing he would. Just no shirt and a bandana. I feel like this this is his costume. It's like so uninventive for him. Wait, I want him to wear the hat though. He's gotta have a hat. I have to go to the bathroom again, you guys. I hate it. Oops. <laughs> Wait, no, the mask cap. That's a good idea. Hold on a second. They have some like. <laughs> Ripley's the worst. <laughs> They're somehow smaller than his like workout shorts. Seriously, slay it. I love this for him. I have to go to the bathroom though, you guys. Giving cowboy chippendales. It is though. It's so crazy. Everyone else is gonna have like really normal outfits. And then there's going to be his outfit. Yeah, I do have to use the restroom, though. <laughs> All right, guys, I have to use the restroom. I know it, it literally gets better and better as we go. He's digging it. He's feeling himself. Honestly, I can't get over how ripped he is. But I have to go use the restroom, you guys. Let's go stretch our legs. I'll be back in a few. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, And I shall return. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Be good, guys.
Hello? I have returned. Valencia, thank you for the biddies. What were you guys doing? You butt heads. People were naughty. What the heck are you guys doing? Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> Nothing. No, no chaos in this household. Uh-uh, not so ever. Thank you so stinking much, you guys. Honestly, a whole party. What the heck? I go to the bathroom. Jam into wings and pizza butt. <laughs> Thank you so stinking much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm speechless. I don't even know where it started. Well, Tawny resubscribed, and then we had some follows. We had Vic and Ashy and Vic. Thank you for the biddies. Valencia, Ashy, and then Sue with a gifted sub, then Nikki with 100 biddies, Valencia with some biddies, and Ashy with six gifted subs. Oh, my God. And then Holly with the five gifted subs, then Sue with six. What the heck, you guys? Thank you, you guys are awesome. And then Sue, and then we have, thank you so much, um, Lo-Fi for the 200 biddies, Les Let Raggedy Lesbian with the 100, Giant with the gifted sub in Valencia. With the six gifted subs. You guys, thank you. Tearing with 100 biddies. Valencia with a gifted sub. Valencia with biddies. And then we had six month resub. Valencia, make sure th for the tier three, make sure to send me a message so I can send you a form, dear. And then Valencia with another six gifted subbies. And then another. Oh my God, you guys are so nice. Hold on. And then I will do this here. Thank you so much, everybody. A little cuckoo with the power tax refund. Well, thank you for that, though, regardless. Vic and then Ari, thank you for the biddies. We got some follows all bounced in there, too. And thank you so much, everybody. What the heck? I am very honored. I really, really appreciate the fact that you guys want to support this community in the way that you do. The many, many ways that you do. We have this, uh, the same Pampers commercial over and over again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my God, Haley. Well, I'm so glad that you got bit by the sub bug though. If you guys are just coming in, I went on a quick break and you guys certainly choose chaos. So thank you for that. And thank you for being, um, so kind, but, um, we're about to start like a little Halloween, um, party in game, but Welcome if you're new here. My name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Good to have you. I am so unbelievably grateful of you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, but apparently we just, we have this party, I guess. Um, I've never thrown like a spooky ween party, but it's going to begin really, really soon. I don't know if it's actually going to start, but this is so weird because it's technically supposed to like right now. Does anyone know how that actually works? Maybe Spooky Spirit or something. We could have him do some stuff. Hype Train continues at that party, right? <laughs> They're really going so crazy. So insane in here. Um, I think I'm going to have everyone else just like change into some other little outfits or whatever. So I'm going to have her wear a costume. Ayla Secura looks good to me. Chelsea is down here. Oh my God, she's sleeping. Chelsea doesn't really seem like a big party animal to me though. Oh, I have to set start now. Oh, do I really? Oh darn. Okay, no, that's good to know though. No, that's actually a really good thing to know. Um, Spooky party, here we go. Host Sim is going to be Ripley, and then I need to invite, like, a poop ton of people. Amberly, blah, blah, blah. We've got Amelia, and then Charity Kala. Janine is still a teenager, technically, so let's go ahead and just add, like, a bunch of random people. That looks fine to me. 
Wait, host is required? Ripley. There we go. That's so weird though, Jen. Thank you for letting me know. I'm like, hello, what is this? There we go. Hi, Kalka. Welcome on in. How are you? Good to see you. Ooh, people are just randomly turning into their, like, with their costumes and stuff. Oh, I need to make sure that Ripley actually changes into, like, his whatever outfit. Um, because we decided that he needs to be sexy cowboy instead. Because that just makes way too much sense for him. Is she yesterday to redo the whole setup in the event again on the phone? Oh, that sucks. That's kind of, that's kind of poopy. Who is this person? I don't know what she is. This guy's just getting down. It's true. Trey never like struck me as a Star Wars kind of guy. Hold on, so we have this here. Hi, KK. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good one. Good to see ya. We're having like a little spooky party. I don't know what what else to do here. Oh, this little party actually looks so cute, isn't it? It's just like a little house party for, and thank you, um, like a bunch of their random friends and stuff. So I've actually colored a bunch of the lights that are kind of like leading up to the area, which I think is a really nice touch. What family are you playing with? This is our Jellybean Legacy family. So this is actually Ripley, who is our heir right here. Um, but then also, in addition to that, like Amelia is pregnant with his firstborn, and she's in her second trimester at the moment. So this baby, wait, oh my God, I'm gonna have Ripley try to like tap the keg. I'm gonna play Stardew, but I need to do my last assignments. I feel that, aw, oh my God. Well, I hope that you can get those done though and maybe you can reward yourself with like a little Stardew Valley or something. Oh, but of course it didn't tap, oh God. And now he's gonna be all like embarrassed about it too. Oh my goodness. I just, wait, Ashley discovered that Lainey has the secret ripped pants. Oh, that's right, because the nosy trait. Um, but I just wanted to take a second again to thank you guys for all of your guys' support. And even when I go on like little bathroom breaks or like stretch breaks or something, I really, really, really appreciate you um, for going way above and beyond and supporting and stuff. Like the things that we do through all the ebbs and flows that I've kind of been having in life too. The great grandpa was, I know, seriously, his great grandpa, he needs to take some notes out of great grandpa's book, doesn't he? He didn't have the, the time to like spend with great grandpa because I think great grandpa was dead by the time he was like a little kid. Can anyone else tap this? Also, I wonder, ooh, Lainey's here. Oh no, we're not gonna do that. But I am gonna have him flirt with Lainey though, because why not? Can he even tap it? Holy crap, yes, he did it! Wait, no, I'm actually really excited. Sathalan, welcome on in. How are you doing? Anyone's coming by, by the way. My name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Did Lainey actually? Oh, she rejected him as I thought. But one other little thing that we could totally do that would be really fun for him. Um, I'm going to have him begin a stream. Ooh. Just get rejected. He's like, I'm just kidding. Ha ha. And psych or something like that. <gasps> Are you kidding? Oh, my God. So the jealous trait? Charity, because remember, he and Charity kind of have a little something going on um they have some romance involved i think that i because she witnessed us like flirting in front of her so i think i'm gonna go ahead and roll this hi kai i went on a break and now we're having a halloween party so red is no yellow is yes it's best of three so that was no and then no so she's not gonna be jealous or have the jealous trait However, oh my God, it's kind of crazy though. So where, um, what does he actually, who, like, should I actually, I think I'm actually going to have him like start flirting with her though 
and stuff. Maybe he's going to do like a smooth little recovery moment or something. Oh, one of the gotcha games I got to update either later or tomorrow. Oh, wait, that's exciting. I hope you're doing well, too. I'm doing pretty good. Definitely having a really good day. It's been a good Monday. We're just chilling out, playing some Jelly Bean Legacy. The Jelly Bean Rules, um, they're in our Discord. So it's actually a challenge that I made myself um, with our community. And they're not available anywhere else yet except for our Discord channel because we're sort of like polishing the rules. However, I think I do want to try to get it posted to Tumblr sooner than later. I think that might be because Michael, I think, is leaving tonight. Um, I think I'm going to work like I'm going to more, work more on stickers today and hopefully get those finished off or really close. And then I'm probably going to post those to Tumblr, I think, is what I'm thinking. Because um, I really want to do that. Because Michael is leaving. Or I do know that, like, his dad wanted to hang out tonight, too. So I don't know. Like, his parents did. So we'll see. But maybe I'll do that for a little while after Michael leaves and then work on some things. Does anyone else, is, does anyone else that's, like, neurospicy, do your brains work in absolutes like mine do? Because it's like you can only do this one thing for some reason. And I know it's so stupid, but like it's been something I've really been struggling with in myself. It's like I have this singular thing to do. Absolutely. I'm like, and then my brain just goes into like waiting room mode. It's so terrible. When they're officially out, I look forward to seeing like more Let's Play videos of it. Right. I know. I'm excited. There's some, um, they're all on uh, YouTube too, by the way. Yeah, it's either like all or nothing. It's so terrible. Yes, June, like my brain goes into like waiting room mode for sure. It's terrible. If I have an afternoon plan that messes up the rest of my day, it does. Like I can't. And that's why uh, I do have an appointment tomorrow morning. But I think um, when I do the announcement for like the, the week this week, like today, um, You what? I think that's why I'm going to major the majority of daytime streams or all daytime streams because streaming at night is continuously getting more difficult for me because my brain enters that like waiting room mode. And it's like, it's really, it it's so like disorienting for me. But Ashley and somebody's, oh my God. Y'all. <laughs> These parties are ridiculous. Ashley and another Sim. I don't know. It's just like a random townie. They're just seriously. The shower woohoo is so insane. Every shower is officially tainted. Seriously. Ashley is woohooing with another Sim. I don't know who it is. At least they're not people who can like conceive pregnancy together. Who is this? Oh my God, it's Kala Scott, apparently. I don't know who that is, but what the frick, you guys? I like how they just put their costumes back on and then they go down into the party. Ah! What is even happening? Are you guys joking me right now? Ooh, they're still flirting back and forth, you guys. I'm gonna have them go like... Ooh, okay, we're gonna flirt. The showers in the house, I know. Who put those there? Showers are for getting clean, y'all. Trey is like just getting down. Look at him go. Oh my God. What is going on? Do I even like document who's getting with who? Ah, uh, the cheese hair? I think so. That's probably one of my guesses as well. Where are you going? Okay, so she's dancing. Okay, I was gonna say, where are you going? Oh, Ripley, don't go to bed. Wake up and go down. No, 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 no. The party is not over, you idiot. There's still so much more fun to be had here. I know, apparently, they'd just rather be getting dirty with all of this. So there's, like, a little bit more time left. So maybe I'll have him ask her to, like, dance or something. Mm. 
Maybe. There we go. He's dancing with Charity. Definitely not with Ashley. Well, we saw how we basically left Ashley in the dust at like the party and stuff. Ooh, Chelsea's PO'd. What is she doing? Oh, she's like so mad. I'm <laughs> just gonna go dance. I know, at least there's no black lights. Hi, wifey, welcome on in. In a little while, um, I'm gonna go with Michael to go pick up Cooper because they have some like aftercare information for us. So I'll be ending stream in a little bit here, probably after this, uh, this party is over. Pass on the toilet with the door locked. Oh, that's the, that's so scary when that happens though, Ashy. I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Amberly is here. But yay, Cooper! I know, I'm so excited. I know he's like the NYC, like naked cowboy, basically. Figures I just got back. Aw, Tony, welcome back, though. We had to figure out how to unlock my bathroom door once. Oh, God. Holly, thank you so much for 29 months. You're so nice. I appreciate you. Oh my God, you are so stinking kind. Welcome on back. How are you doing today? Oh, the party's over, guys. Where are we gonna go? What are you two gonna do? Flirt, maybe? Where's he going? Difficult football practice. Stop it. She's literally pregnant, Ripley. Stop it right now. Um, Maybe I'll like confess attraction or something. Do you think that he would actually, he's flirting. He's flirting with her and like Amelia, his baby mom is literally right here. I'm here the whole time today. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate the fact that you guys really want to spend so much time here, though. It really does mean a lot to me because there's sometimes when I feel I'm just kind of like boring or whatever, you know, kind of like uninteresting. But I'm glad or like a little discombobulated or whatever. But I'm just glad that you guys are hanging out. I know I do, too. He had some cysts removed and stuff, um, which are pretty common in poodles, especially like older dogs like him. OK, so I think I'll probably have him go ahead. Never boring. Aw. I just sometimes I feel very like less engaging or less like with it or something because um I've had a lot on my heart lately that I don't want to like some things that I can't really bring up but other things like there's a lot of things that you guys like know about pertaining to all of the um all of the fun fertility stuff going on yeah seriously he was wearing like a, a sexy cowboy outfit <laughs> like seriously Oh my God, it's so funny though. Aw, thank you, Nikki. I really love that you guys hanging out here though. Makes me feel so awesome. Oh, it'll be an, um, it'll be weird with Michael gone, but I guarantee that his parents are gonna be here like 90% of the time, which I love. I love his parents. Entertaining space. Aw, thank you, Kai. Uh, hyper cozy vibes and both are great. That's true. I know, I'm a human. Weird! It's such a strange concept. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know, so weird. Aw, girls, ha she's having a hard time. Oh god. Oh, from being jealous? Oh geez. Are these two gonna like, hash something out? Cause she just randomly came in here. I guess nothing came about that one. I know brains are very mean. That is also true. They're all sad because there's, um, I didn't technically complete all the spooky day, like, thingies. How do I want to say? Um, all like the, the things. Uh, he is a, he's going on a work trip. Oh, girl, you are pregnant! <laughs> She waits until everyone's in bed. <laughs> she waits until 
everyone is gone and she's like oh gluck, 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 gluck. the timing oh my god please girl what are you doing what the actual heck is going on mom is playing bubbles no seriously this baby is gonna have some things what the oh my goodness I know, definitely a frat baby. What is he? Ma'am, there's a new boo in there. I know, there's a new boo in there. Girly girl, what are you doing with yourself? Oh my God, hi, pretty. Welcome on in. How are you doing? The frat baby, I know, because this is a frat house and he like literally got the girl pregnant and stuff. Uh, first time woohooing and then whatever baby's bacon in the oven, the little baby bean. Spooky party? No, dude. I set the part. That's so weird. That happened a couple of times, actually. Um, That the party was like set to, to start. That was very confused. Ready for the drama? Oh, my God. Yeah, so like uh, Ripley's got a baby mama. Uh, Liam and... Trey woohooed autonomously together. And then there's also uh, Ashley woohooed with like another sim. It was like some random girl or something at the party. So I guess, you know, if you're willing to just throw down randomly, that's totally fine. I noticed that too, but like, I know the party never stops, I guess, exactly. Just when you think that it's over, it just keeps going and going and going. All right, beanies. Ah. Uh, we have to go pick up Cooper in about 20 minutes. So I want to go with Michael so I can get some aftercare info for him. But I want you guys to know that I have an appointment at like 10 a.m. tomorrow and then I'll be back. And then we're going to I'm going to stream pretty much right away as soon as I'm back uh, from my appointment and stuff. So I hope you guys will come hang out um, with me tomorrow. I know best wishes to Cooper. Seriously, right? So... Um, yeah, then I'm also going to post like the weekly update for everything um, in Discord and stuff later today and get some things organized. Oh, my God. Anything on the puppy? Actually. Actually, we're getting a puppy. Um, we might be getting him. I'll have to talk to Michael because I got a text when I was on the toilet. Um, we might be getting him on... Uh, what is it? Like. Then the 13th. I'll have to ask her exactly because her it's very it doesn't make them it doesn't make sense. Um, so it says. Yeah, it, it I, I, I can't read it out loud without like giving away info or something, something, but like it doesn't really make sense. We'll have to ask her for some clarifying information, but we might be getting him very, very, very soon. In case you guys didn't know, Michael and I have been talking about getting a puppy for a really long time, and I've always wanted a mini schnauzer. Oh my God, the giveaway. Um, yes, let's do that really fast. Thank you so much. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Um... But I think it's the 13th or something. I don't know what that's going on, but I'm going to ask her. But it might be earlier than the 18th, which I'm very excited about. But also, oh, my God. Uh, but we're getting a mini schnauzer. His name is Babu. He looks super chill and super sweet. And I'm very excited. So, guys, um, this recording is in partnership with the EA Creator Network. Um, EA gave me some codes. On Friday, I forgot to give one away. Uh, cause I was all just sorts of discombobulated, but I want to give away a pack. So a code for, it's for PC or Mac. So not console, sadly. Um, I want to give away a code for you guys. And it's, it's from the EA Creator Network for, so we're going to do the Urban Homage Kit today. And then tomorrow we're going to have another one, um, from like a different pack. So it's going to be the party essentials kit so if you would like the urban homage kit go ahead and type gimme g-i-m-m-e thank you to ea for making this opportunity available and everything 
Uh, but yeah, I have to play that fancy little audio and have this little like watermark and stuff like that because of the new like FTC laws and stuff. I almost forgot about the giveaway again today, guys. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not on purpose. I swear to God. But thank you for being here. And then I shall have another giveaway tomorrow. So it's very exciting. I know. Yes, this one's a Create a Sim kit. So this one is for PC or Mac only. Just as a heads up to you guys. Um, so Urban Homage. We checked out these things last week. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I can darn it, right? But good luck. I'm going to give you guys a few more seconds here to go ahead and enter. All right, get ready. I'm going to go ahead and a Wink Redemption. <gasps> Do we have it? I gave him an extra one. I don't know who it was, but thanks for being here, you guys. All righty. So um, if it draws your name, you'll need to whisper me and then I will respond with your key because I have it right now. All right, guys, here we are. Send me a message, Space. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for being here, my dears. I think later on tonight, I might do a productivity stream on TikTok. I have not gone live on TikTok in almost like over a month. Life has been a lot for me. So I think I'm ready to start going live on TikTok and Twitch again. Um, just been a lot. My brain's been kind of frazzled, but I might do a, a, a little productivity stream later in case you guys need that. Um, because I want to work on some stickers. Space Donut! I'm so excited! And also, like, knock out a whole bunch of stuff. Alrighty. Waiting on Space. Thank you so much. And then I also have some forms to issue to some other folks, too. Space, I'm so excited. Yay! But yeah, I'll let you guys know in Discord when I go live on there if I do decide to. But... I know raids a uh, space uh shelter day uh may so it's not till may 8th and 9th i need to make that tiktok i'm going to make that today i'm gonna do it uh something on tv is to know the reason the comfort i love that so much did you guys know that you guys can watch the tiktok stream on your computer too you don't have to have tiktok to watch it you can like watch it on your computer i don't know if you guys know that um so something that you can do which is very exciting can pull it up if you want it's a better viewing experience it's pretty sweet i know butt spot Haley. butt spots just on that a lot of tiktok on my computer i've done it like a few times but i don't really do it very often it's usually my phone my tiktok brain rot is on my phone like all the time i really appreciate you guys hanging out here today thank you so stinking much um so it's been it's been awesome. What a great Monday. But I can't wait to cause more drama. So we're going to be doing more Jelly Bean Legacy tomorrow. Um, I'll probably be live afternoon Central Time because I do have an appointment in the morning. Um, and then we'll be on. And it's going to be a good day. And we're going to hang out and make some more memories and see kind of what happens. Ooh, this baby is so going to be born tomorrow. So Lime is going to be born tomorrow. So come with your best Lime names. Yeet was one of those that y'all came up with. But um, we're going to go pick up Cooper from the vet. Michael's out of town, so then I'm the primary caregiver for him. But thank you guys for being here. We've got a community Discord. Join us. Um, there's my normal schedule. I'm actually like 99.9% .9 sure I'll be changing that. So I will probably be daytime from here on out. It's hard for my brain to stream at night. I'll explain in the announcement when I make that. But, um... Yes. So if you guys have a, a sub, make sure to copy and paste the Beanie Weenies incoming. Otherwise, the hand hearts will do. Just make sure to tell Sailor T that I sent you. She's playing Planet Zoo, which is very exciting. So thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for the wonderful Monday. As I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially if you're in it. Here's a boop for the road. Boop. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Key is a cute one. I like that one, actually. That one's really cute. LeMay. Ooh. That's cute. Am um, mm, y'all got me thinking. All right. I love you. Bye. See you in the morning. Well, the afternoon.